I was there for the, for the first year of the school. Little did I realize that the school would, 50 years later, would be what it is today and what it has become. Well, it was back in uh, 1972. We, uh, one of our children was in the, going into the fourth grade uh, in the public schools in Spencerport. We were very unhappy with what we saw going on with the curriculum. We'd come out of the South where there was a lot of Christian education. So I made up my mind, we're either gonna start a Christian school here or we're moving. So I went to Pastor Mullen, told him, I said, you know, we need to start a Christian school. If we don't, goodbye, we're gone. Basically, the school started in what was called then building number two. The school grew continued to grow in 1975 and 76, I believe, we began to occupy what we called Building 3, which was the big auditorium, new office space and all that. In 1982, the school had grown to about from 40 to about 250 to almost maybe 300 students. We were at capacity uh, student-wise, and so we were looking for another facility, and uh, Warren Harding public school and gates come up for sale. And they wanted, I think it originally was like a million and a half to two million. We said, no, that's out of our ballpark. Our lawyer uh, offered them $400,000, one quarter of what they were asking, and basically didn't hang around for a discussion. He asked me and Pastor Modlish to Let's leave, gentlemen, we're done here. And we walked out the door. And uh, of course, he said, it's good till Friday. Well, they called us back and said, "How? I think it was they said, how about 425? <laughs> so we bought the school, if I'm not mistaken, for $425,000. And then they wanted to sell all the contents. So they put everything in the gym there. And we went in and we said, we'll buy it. What do you sell it for? We bought the contents of the school building, everything, desk, chairs, uh, equipment, uh, you name it. Anything that you'd have in a school, library, books, everything, we bought it for $5,000. So we had a turnkey school for $430,000. We borrowed the money from the people of the church. We didn't have to go to a bank. We had some cash, borrowed money, and by 1987, that school was paid for. In three and a half years, we paid the whole amount, $430,000 was paid off, and we own North Star Christian Academy, and we have every every year since then. I was a public school principal. I had, uh, at that time, I was head of two schools uh, in the school district in Greece, and Pastor Madish asked me to go on a fishing trip with his wife and my wife uh, down to uh, up in the mountains, and I went, and he asked me if I would consider taking over the school, and I said, no, I didn't know that I would do that, uh, I had a lot of things to consider at that time, but I went home and talked to my wife and I was always up to a challenge and I said, yes, I will. So I basically quit my job in Greece after 21 years, uh, having to run three schools there, and then uh, I took over North Star at that point in time. Nick Fabry is a huge God story himself. When you think a public school principal, they're paid fairly well, would leave his post and his paycheck behind to go to a Christian school and be the principal there. And he carried on just like he would in, as a professional. That's a God moment, to have somebody like that come in and take your Christian school. That influenced people that thought, why would this guy do something like that? He must really believe in it. So we moved into the school. Uh, we enlisted all the parents, probably a hundred or more people, chipped in, rented trucks or own trucks and started moving material, cleaning the school. Uh, they were in there week after week throughout the summertime, washing windows, puttying up loose putty, uh, stripping floors. So I came to North Stars a Kindergarten back in 1985, um, and that was the start of my career here at North Star. I went here from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. When I was younger, I got a job here teaching computers. Uh, I taught computer and Bible for five years. And uh, Pastor Kevin Pesky uh, approached me one day and said, I want to talk to you about North Star. 
and uh, I almost knew in my head what that what this was going to be. Uh, we sat down, uh, we talked through ideas and what he was looking at for the future of North Star, um, and I knew I wanted to be a part of that. There were a few things about North Star that really prepared me for my life after North Star. I just think it gave us opportunities. It gave us the Christian worldview, gave us opportunities to learn how to serve and to give back, which is something I still appreciate today. My education gave me such a solid base for college and my career in the medical field, and I still value so many lifelong friendships for my time at NCA. Most importantly, some of the most pivotal moments in my Christian walk happened while at school. I'll never forget one elementary teacher answered all my questions about getting saved or the truths I was taught as a young child and the scripture I memorized in elementary school. I'm so thankful for the identity I found in Christ at such a young age and for the biblical truths that North Star Christian Academy has stood on for so many decades. I'm four weeks away from delivering my second baby and I have a two-year-old at home and I already can't wait for my kid's first day in kindergarten a few years away. The impact that North Star Christian Academy and the teachers had on my family, there's not even any words to, it, I can't put it into words. There were genuine servants, missionaries of God who invested into my children. The best thing about what you will experience here uh, is the teachers. Uh, our staff is phenomenal. Uh, we able to hire some great, great teachers and uh, they have high expectations uh, and even a higher love for our students. And as a result of that, you see that nurturing growth from our, from our kids and you see them grow both spiritually and academically. The teachers that we've had over the years, we've seen teachers come and sacrifice their paychecks to come there to be Christian school teachers because they believed in what we were doing. So every teacher that ever came to North Star or every worker that ever came because they saw that as a cause. It wasn't a job, it wasn't a paycheck, but they were part of the cause of Christian education. Every one of those people are God moments. Actually, that was the most important part of what I believed I was doing was to be an impact on students. I love students, it was natural for me. God just put that into me so that I didn't have to work at that. And, and I did, I loved the staff and the students I worked with over the years. And some kids that might have been problems for other teachers never were for me. But I think genuine love, and people can sense that. When you have genuine love for somebody and care about them and look out for them. And, and I was always more interested in that, although I knew I had to prepare them mathematically for what was gonna happen uh, in their vocations or what they were gonna do later in life, whether it be going on to school. and. Uh, I always thought that was the most important thing. It was a 2012-2013 school year, um, and the team was dynamic. We thought, sure, let's see if we can bring students in from other countries. How cool is that, you know? So yeah, I mean, it took about nine months to do it from start to finish. And I remember when I got the email, I was in my office and I was ecstatic when she said, you've been approved. And it was, it was I, I knew it was a big moment for us because we were gonna do something that we had never really done before. And we knew, boy, this is gonna be really cool. You know, the Bible says, go into the world. Well, we were, we were bringing the world to us. Let me tell you, I, I, you know, I can't even remember or, or count the number of students that have come from other countries with no real faith or never even knowing about the Bible and have left here as Christ followers. This school, you know, and schools like it, when you have great international programs, you are doing that student body a great service for sure. So this year we had a student that came in from Germany. And at the end of the year, she came and shared a testimony with, with this whole student body. And she just wanted to thank us at North Star because here, she met Jesus. And it just brought chills to, to myself and a lot of the staff members that we were able to invest in her uh, and to see her go back to her country knowing Jesus Christ. I have no idea. Uh, a lot different. Uh, old? Everybody here is gonna be a robot except for the uh, kids. There's gonna be robot teachers, they're gonna be driving robot cars that are flying. Everything's gonna be super rusty and then dark, super dark. Everything got candy. Play all day. 
you know. And they're nothing. Old, uh, rusty, looking like a tin can, needs to be rebuilt. Taco Tuesday every day. Maybe like a little bit old. You don't have to go to school at all. The school gives them hoverboards that actually hover. I'm going to eat cat food too. Cat food? Because I'm half a cat. I want to eat my cat's cat food. It was delicious. Kids would be billionaires and rule the world. Basically, there's a whole buffet that has like Subway, Chick-fil-A, and all that stuff. We can pick whatever we want. I would play <laughs> soccer with a hologram soccer ball. It might be dusty and old, and the food in the school will be bad. There's like leftovers in the lunchroom. Maybe it'll like be expired. We will have a video game shelf. There probably will still be the book fair. In 50 years, I will miss NCA. I will miss my school in 50 years. And all grown-ups are made on money. So this is a pretty rich school in 50 years. Yeah. My vision for the future of this school is very simple. Uh, our, our mission is that we want to impact students spiritually and academically to change the world for Christ. And the goal and vision for the next 50 years would probably be to continue to do the same thing we're doing, just uh, partnering with parents to, to train their children up, to love them, to equip them, whether it's uh, athletics, whether it's academics, whether it's arts. Every child is created in the image of God and He has gifted them with amazing purpose and value and we want them to see that fullness and use that for the Lord. When I look forward to North Star, mm, my hope would be that more and more teenagers would be surrendered to God to, to really take the Lord seriously, to know God, to learn the spiritual aspects of education so that they can change this world for the gospel for the Lord. Um, why else are we here? We in America are living on the mission field. Now we always have, I know that. But now looking at the culture and what is being forced on us through the media, through public education, through the political realm, through all those, I see America turning into a mission field. And I see more and more the purpose for North Star Christian Academy to be a mission training station. The children need to understand that they are going to become the missionaries to the United States of America. And I think that needs to flow from the top, from Ryan Grape, right down through the administration, right through the teaching teachers, through the parents and into those children, that when they walk across that platform on a graduation, that they are now missionaries to a foreign adversarial culture to Christianity. That's why we are here. That's what this is all about.